All right, guys, the Mark Weber here again, dub them ease. Uh, we got to talk about a team that I'm not excited to talk about, uh, but it needs to be done. The Detroit Lions. Uh, Detroit sucks, first of all. We need to get that out of the way. Go Bears. But with this being said, the Detroit Lions, uh, they got a lot of good things going for them right now. I, I think I'm a little higher on them than my, uh, my fellow co-host, Ricky Widmer, is. But... Uh, I, I'm not saying they're going to win any divisions here, but they're going to go to a playoff game. And they're going to play again and probably lose again. But this time, at least, it won't be the referee's fault. But since that unfortunate pass interference that may or may not have been a pass interference, uh, the Detroit Lions, I think, have done okay things. Uh, the Dom can sue has gone. There's no replacing him, uh, even if Nada is there and will be really good. Uh, but he's a replacement for Nick Fairley. There is no replacement for an Adama Uh However, with that being said, I don't believe that, you know, the sky is falling on Detroit right now. I know a lot of people think it's done. Forget it. This team is gone. 0-16 again. Uh, but I, I'm not believing that. I still think this is a double-digit win team, even though they have a really hard schedule. Uh, but... Lake and Tomlinson, really, guys? Come on, what are you thinking? I don't know. It, I, you guys, you know... You guys can let me know what you think down below. Should they have gone with the defensive tackles that were available uh, at pick number 28 in the first round? Or is getting a guard really that useful? Uh, this isn't... I mean, they do run the ball, and that is an important part of the Detroit Lions game. But you got Megatron out there. You got Golden Tate. You got Matthew Stafford. You don't really need to worry about too much run game because you can outscore people. Uh, so I don't know about that. I'm not 100% sold, uh, but I'm not willing to, you know, criticize too much on that decision. Uh, but I know Amir uh, Dula, that's going to be exciting. He's going to probably be in a rotation for now uh, and then hopefully take the reins and really just be the guy in the future. Um, but I want to, of course, get to the schedule because you can hear us talk a ton about the Detroit Lions uh, right up here in our podcast, our most valuable podcast, the Onside Kicks NFC North Preview. So go check that out. Uh, so I want to talk about this schedule because, like I said, it's tough. It is. You start off with a very challenging team. Uh, if you've either seen my Chicago Bears preview or you've listened to me on the Onside Kick podcast, you know. This guy right here, he cares about the San Diego Chargers. He thinks they're a good team. He thinks they're going to do good things. So, I'm sorry, Detroit, you're not going to beat San Diego. It's not going to happen. But then you get to play the Vikings. Unfortunately, it's at Minnesota. Uh, maybe split that one. I don't know. Maybe the Vikings lose both of them. Uh, it's very possible for the Vikings to get swept by anybody. Uh, with that being said, though, and, you know, I... That one, if, if you guys are wondering why I'm so down on the Vikings and think they're going to lose all 16 games this year, go f search for that little bet that Ricky and I made. Uh, they're not going to make the playoffs, Ricky. It's not going to happen. Moving on, though, playing the Broncos, uh, this one gives me... I, I just don't know. I don't know how to feel about this game. Uh, I think the Broncos have to start falling off. Coaching changes. Peyton Manning's still old. Uh, it, I, I don't think they're going to be that great of a team this year. Still probably a playoff team, but not that great. The Detroit Lions definitely can can beat the Broncos. Uh, and it pains me to say that, uh, that, you know, Matthew Stafford's going to be better than Peyton Manning, but I, I think it definitely can happen. Uh, but moving forward, of course, the Cardinals is a hard game. The Bears split that one, maybe. Um, then you got the Vikings again, like I said, probably split it. The Chiefs. Come on, the Detroit Lions can beat the Chiefs. It can happen. Uh, moving forward, the Packers, I'm sorry. I'm not giving any of these games to the D Detroit Lions when they're playing the Packers. Uh, I just can't do it. The Packers are a better team than everybody in this division. The Packers could easily sweep the entire division uh, if Aaron Rodgers decides not to be merciful. Uh, but the Raiders, that's nothing. The Eagles, though, this is going to be a good game. Uh, I don't know who's going to be the quarterback of the Eagles. I doubt it's going to be Sam Bradford. Uh, so I don't know what's going to happen with that. But the Eagles are a really good team. And they are a better team, minus the quarterback situation, a better team than the Lions are. Uh, but 
who's going to play quarterback? So I, I don't know. I, I think that this game is a toss up for that reason alone. If they had somebody who I was, you know, this is the solid guy. We know this guy's our quarterback. Then I would give this game to the Eagles. Uh, but moving forward, Rams, winnable game. Saints, mm, I give the edge to the Lions, but I'm not 100% sold. Then, of course, going to the 49ers. I'm sorry, 49ers fans, but you guys got nothing this year. Nothing to be excited about at all. And finally, at Chicago. Please don't beat Chicago at Chicago. I just don't want to see that. Um, but the split, I'm hoping for the split there. Uh, the the things I got to say about the Lions, though, to wrap this up, team is still good. I know the Dom can sue is gone. But they're still a really good team, and they are an offensive team. The defense had Nadam Kinsu and then some other guys. So it's not really that big of a deal. The defense was never that amazing. Anyway, some of you might want to argue me on that, and feel free in the comment section. Or on Twitter, at the Mark Weber. Go ahead and do it. Uh, but this team, if all things are going well, and they're at their best, their best case scenario, 11 wins again. More likely... Nine or ten wins. Uh, if all things go poorly, eight wins. Uh, that's giving a pretty decent range there of all their ability. I think this is a playoff team once again. Uh, uh, it doesn't make me happy, but I, I got to just, you know, I got to give credit where credit is due. The Detroit Lions are a good team. I expect to see them in the playoffs again, uh, and you guys should too. If you disagree, let me know down in the comments section or on Twitter at the Mark Weber or at Most Valuable Pod. Don't forget to check out the Onside Kick NFC North preview, and we're going to be doing all sorts of other previews as well for every division, so make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, so you know when all those go up. Until football season starts, we're going, to be keep, uh, we're going to keep doing these previews, so stay tuned, guys, till we get to your team when you can get upset about how they're not going to win the Super Bowl because the Bears are going to win the Super Bowl. 16-0, baby. Don't forget that we started a Patreon page. Go to patreon.com slash most valuable podcasts to check out all of our reward options. Remember, you can still get our content for free by subscribing to our YouTube page. But if you want to support us financially, now you can be rewarded for doing so. The link's in the description. What are you waiting for?